Hey everybody, are you ready to master your morning? Well, we start tomorrow. So it's very important that to establish self-care practices in the morning, you're gonna be getting up early. It's also important to establish bedtime rituals and bedtime routines because it is very hard from going with your, your phone in your hand to going right to sleep. Okay, um, and I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to get the most out of this week because the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. So I hope you've taken the time to write your affirmations, to get your book and your journal, and you know what you're doing for tomorrow. So if you know what you're doing, time to start thinking about what is your bedtime routine? What is your bedtime ritual? How much sleep do you need? So based on how much sleep you need, will determine what time you need to go to bed in order to get up an hour earlier than you're used to. So I know myself well enough and I know that in order to wake up, um, I early, I need to put myself to bed early and that also mean I need an hour. I need an hour. To wind down because that hour gives me time to do take a shower or wash my face or use my neti pot do whatever I do brush my teeth right before bed it gives me time to potentially maybe read a little bit maybe watch a show with Jacob have some intimacy with my husband all of those things that I do right before I fall asleep so that's one thing I want you to think about right now is what time do you need to go to bed and mentally commit to yourself that you're gonna get off your phone an hour, 30 minutes to an hour before you have to go to sleep. So you have time for your mind to wind down and shift gears. I myself, this is maybe being TMI, but I went out and I got a really great romance novel for me to read in the evenings because if I have that book that I know that's going to make me excited to be with my husband at the end of the night, then it's easier for me to put my phone away and go to my book and then go spend time with my husband and ease into slumber. So what about tomorrow morning? What are you gonna do? Well, first of all, you're going to need a timer to stay on track. And there are a couple different ways, and you can read in the text below a couple different ways that I've outlined how you can check all the things off your list in the morning. Now, remember, this is your thing. And so if you want to spend more time in one area than the other, that's okay. But I suggest doing, doing your workout that's between 25 and 30 minutes. So let me break down how my morning is going to flow and how it works for me. So right when I wake up in the morning, I go and I get myself some warm water with maybe a little bit of fresh lemon or lemon oil or maybe just water. Um, warm water cleanses the colon and helps get the metabolism going. If you put something cold in your belly right when you wake up, it literally puts out your digestive fire in the morning and so it slows your metabolism. So that warm water helps get the system moving. And I also put on a cup of green tea or a cup of awake tea, Yogi brand awake tea, to seep while I then go to do my morning cleansing ritual. So what does that mean? Like I get a wet washcloth cloth and I get it warm and I just rub it over my face to help me wake up. Um, and I brush my teeth and I use my neti pot. And by the time I'm done with those things, my warm water's got my body flowing enough to where I'm ready to, I'm sorry TMI, but it's real, to poop. So I'll go to poop at that point. So just in order to maximize my time in the morning, I'm committing to doing my taking my book for my personal development with me, with me to the toilet, and I'm gonna start there. And maybe I'll only need a couple minutes, maybe I'll need all 10 minutes, who knows? After okay. I'm done with my personal development, I'm, well, let's back up a second. I'm gonna drink my tea as I'm finishing my reading because I normally don't take a whole 10 minutes on the toilet, right? So I'm gonna spend about five minutes or so and then I'm gonna go finish my reading and I'm gonna sip my tea because it is beneficial to have even a small amount of caffeine in your body before you meditate. That's why yogis drink green tea because it helps with the mental alertness. So whether or not you're going straight to your workout or whether you're going straight into meditation, it is actually a good idea to even have a small amount of caffeine. So I personally want to get my workout done right away. Reason why is because 
I'm going to get hungry if I don't. I have a high metabolism and I'm going to get hungry if I don't work out right away. Because also exercise, it, it, like get your body pumping and moving, but it also for a short amount of time is an appetite suppressant. So if I ex exercise early, then I'm going to have just a little bit of a suppressed appetite where I'm going to be able to get through the rest of my morning routine. And then I'm going to have breakfast immediately after that. Okay. So I'm going to do my personal development on the toilet and then I'm going to finish with my tea. Then I'm going to go exercise. And then from there, from exercise, like as my blood, my blood pressure is coming down and I'm cooling down, I'm going to go do my affirmations set a timer for all of these things, like five minutes for your affirmations. And then from there, I'm gonna go into my stillness for 10 minutes, I'm gonna set a timer. And then from there, I'm going to go into reflection. So when you sit down for reflection and journaling, you can write what, however you want to. You can write where you're reflecting on everything that you just experienced and you went through or stuff that's going on in your life. Or me personally, I have a gratitude journal. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna spend five minutes in my gratitude journal writing about things that I'm grateful for. And then I'm going to go to make my to-do list for the day. I'm gonna spend that time getting organized. That's my intention. However, there's a couple other ways that you can build this and I have it listed down in the comments. So please read the text if you're interested, but this is the most important thing for my friends who use energize the pre-workout from beach body. Do not drink that before you meditate. Okay. Because the whole thing about meditation is bringing down your calming your central nervous system and that naturally boosts your nat your central nervous system. So if maybe you wake up, you do your personal development, then you meditate, then drink your pre-workout while you're doing your reflections or your and your affirmations right before you go into your workout. You do not want to drink an energy drink before meditation. Otherwise, it's going to have you all crazy inside. And that's not the point. The point is to feel grounded, right? Moving forward. So guys, I hope this helps you and I hope you're ready and I hope you're excited to master your morning because we are going to be so productive and we're going to feel so great by the end of the week. Have a good one. Let's do this.